Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another episode of Top 5 Cars of the Week. This week we have the topic of Rat Rods, and this has been very interesting. There's been some, uh, many different suggestions, or some missions I should say. But, uh, yeah, let's get on with it. And the fifth place spot is... Edvin Cedarvis. With a Photoshop, I don't even know what cars he, uh, he used for this. But this Photoshop turned out quite well, and I really enjoyed it. Coming in the fourth place spot, we have Nicholas Eric Graybroom with a... Da no, not a Datsun. It's a Lada 2101, I believe it is. And it was done in SLRR. Uh, really done well, actually. I've, I've tried doing some SLRR builds, and it's quite hard. Especially a Ratty-style build like he did. And in the third place spot, we have Mr. Challenger with a modern Challenger done up in a Rat Rod style. It's really cool, a new concept, and I always love the drawings he does. And in the second place spot, we have Lenny with a absolutely insane 240 rat rod. It's got like a whole truck bed on the rear of it. Um, that actually looks like a V6 in there, um, which is different than most cars that they chose to do for the rat rod. But uh, yeah, he's got the surfboard on the back, you know, dual straight pipes coming out. It, it's just crazy, the, the stuff you can do in S-Tuner. Like, just look at that thing. It's got like a, a truck bed on the rear. And, and the only thing resembling a 240 is like the front bumper and headlights. And in the first place spot, we have Brandon Lawson with an S14 that has been done up like a uh, a Rat Rod style again, as, as that was a topic. I don't know why I stated that, but uh, yeah, he's got a V8 in here. Absolutely insane, the uh, way he did the front frame, uh, the front tube frame, I should say, and uh, along with the engine. It's all, it's all color matched and stuff like that. It's on classic wheels, which look great on this car, surprisingly. It's more of a modern wheel, but... Uh, yeah, I don't even know where you got those headlights from, but uh, they just flow so well with it, surprisingly, even though it's an S14, but uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it, just like I did. Thank you to everyone who has submitted a car for this week's episode of Top 5 Cars. Next week, we're going to be doing Itasha Cars, or however you want to pronounce that word. Um, it's basically where you put an anime character on the side of your cars. This uh, this was requested by a few people, actually, and it's quite a good topic. Uh, I've, I've tried doing a few, and I'm not very good with liveries and such, or textures, I guess they'd be called, in S-Tuner. Um, so I never really got a good result, but I'd be very interested in seeing what you guys come up with. And uh, until next time, I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching my video guys, be sure to check out my Facebook for the latest updates, my Twitter to never miss a video that's uploaded, and my Instagram to receive updates on my 240SX. Also be sure to check out my online store to purchase MegFedLove stickers, all the links are in the description. I hope to see you guys there.